made top eight. And it was here, the second regional. 5K? Yep, and you got it. And get. Yeah. I'll play the Ghazi. And then I'll trash the black top. Ghazi, Luga, and Psych out. <sighs> well, that didn't go as planned. In fact, I was entirely off my game. But where did I go wrong? Was it the build? The core is always the same, which we have Bomon, Lugamon, Lugarmon, Soul Lugarmon, and AG, which are all from BT14. We got new additions from BT15, Lugamon to remove rookie floodgates, Lugarmon for extra DP buffs, and Tyranimon for searching and blocking. Of course, it is not a Lugamon deck without the other dark animals, with Black Otto, Fang, Originally, I had Black Auto Uber to tech against decks that utilize the trash, but during the course of the tournament, it didn't come up. We need to focus back on consistency. Search and set of cards. We got Analog Youth, Wisdom Training, and Purple Memory Boost. We got Ghazi for my own Floodgate, Chimeramon for combo extending, and also finishing off games for extra attacks. And for the Special Spice, since we got red sources, I also include ADP just to help us ensure the OTK as much as we can. The early and mid combo still consists of trying to get into your Hellugermon with analog setup so you can always maintain momentum, deleting things, drawing cards, trashing cards, grabbing Lugamon back from the trash, and the final OTK combo still really mainly is trying to build into Fenrir Lugamon, set up a lot of dark animals and SOCs in your trash so that you can play them back, go wide and alliance, and finish the game off. Now that I wrote out the build, was it because I didn't practice enough? Well, there's only one way to find out. So for round one, we face against Yellow Shine Gray. This is a race to see who can set up faster. With Fenrir Luga, we gotta set up our trash and go into our stack. For them, it's going into Marcus's with their entire Agumon all the way to the Shine Gray as well. I need to be wary of potential security bombs. Cards like Crimson Blaze, Sunrise Buster, and Final Shining Burst can really just stop your entire game plan. But thankfully, this is why we have this. Things were going smooth. I was setting up for the OTK combo and ready to go the next turn. But the opponent surprised us, not only with the BT2 Shine Gray suspending their BT12 Marcus, it also lets them go into a ruin mode essentially for free, which is crazy and we're not able to push up with Lugamon at all afterwards and they just got the momentum and sealed the deal. But the one advantage that Lugamon has over Shine Gray is that it has a lot more draw and search power. Overall, we're able to consistently build into our combo to go for the OTKs and basically take them out. And from there, I won the round 2-1. Round two, we face against Imperial, and this is exactly the moment I knew it was time for redemption. Because if you watch the stream, you know I got whooped by it. Surprisingly, Imperial has quite a bit of fighting chance in this matchup. They're able to Digivolve into XVmon in the back, play out Stingmon afterwards, chip away with jamming, DNA into Paeldramon, and then make another two checks, which actually applies a lot of pressure. Afterwards, they can even go wide by going into Dragon Mode, playing out two other bodies, which this deck isn't really good at removing wide boards. And that is exactly why we gotta ignore it, set up as quickly as possible, and go for their security instead. But we also need to be wary of Mega Death and security as well. The key is to know when to play Hell Lugarmon, and when is that? Is to get rid of their level 5 specifically because they don't have protection. We were able to establish momentum quickly, winning the round 2-0. Round 3. Wargreymon and Black Wargreymon Tribal, which can be fairly difficult, especially when they establish a perfect stack with multiple protection. Black Wargreymon is a threat because they can take out tamers such as AG, which is why it's very important to keep it in your hand or keep it in trash so that we can always get it out for free and not waste memory just by playing it. Throughout the course of the game, I noticed my opponent wasn't able to build the optimal stack with protection, and that is the moment that I knew exactly I had to get into Hell Lugamon as soon as possible in order to pop it. If the stack has protection, you go for the security with Fenrir Lugamon and use Alliance because at times you're able to overpower them with DP. Or you can try to deplete their protection resources with Hell Luga first and then use Fenrir afterwards to delete it. With taking small leads during the course of the game, we're able to take the entire round 2-0. If you want to see all the matches in full with commentary, hit that join button and become a deluxe member today.
Well, I went undefeated at locals, so why did the regionals end the way that it did? Well, the truth is, Lugumon just didn't resonate with me. I picked it up, expecting to do well, without any practice. But we gotta move on.